Oh my god! Oh, hello there! Hello! Where to? Hi everyone! Bump it, bump it! Okay, so today, what we have planned for this episode is we're going to ask each other five questions. We're, we're gonna do it while eating food. Questions we've never asked each other, by the uh. way. It's very exciting. But right now, Come on and join us to go get food to heaven place ni Ila. All the drive through. <laughs> Because we don't know if this is mukbang, but if this is mukbang, congratulations to us. Yeah, we've done it. So, welcome to our episode. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for your questions? Yep. Sino mo muna? Bato, bato, pick. Bato, bato, pick. So, ako mo muna? Mm -hmm. For my first question, who in your life is your inspiration and role model na hindi ako? Hindi ikaw? Hmm, hindi ako kasi lagi mo sasabihin ako kasi tayo ang dalawa lahat eh. Pero ikaw, sa, sa buhay mo, sino yung parang... Number one or lahat lang? One lang! O sige, two. <laughs> si Papa Joe M, tsaka si Bro. Okay, bakit? Well, sila din yung ano, since before, palagi tayo like most of the time na we spend time together. Most of the girls kasama ko palagi. Hmm, so, kaya nga akong pinipili ko ng boy. Yeah. So now, si Papa Joem and si Bro, they entered my life and now mayroon akong role model na men since wala rin each other dad ko. Ayun. Oo nga, tama. So yun, perfect. Tapos, now, we have Gido. Pwede akong maging role model for him. Um, bonus din siya, no? Kayo mga yun, pero... Yes, that's your Nino. Uh, he's been a very, very vital part in your life from bata ka. Mm -hmm. Very good answer. When you were younger, like in high school, were you ever considering the, uh, no, like taking an approach to parang sports? Oh, naman. Mm -hmm. That's the energy. <laughs> Why? Seven years ago, varsity ng volleyball. I'm so proud of that. Hindi ko alam. Seven years. Actually, nagtutukan niya ng kwento niyan kasi, ano lang yun eh, parang nasa jazzams ako noon. Tapos, pinilit lang ako mag-try out nung... Actually, sinabihan ako nung... Sinabihan ng coach ko, na naging coach ni Kay, by the way. Hi, Coach Clifford. Sinabihan niya na pag-try out din ako, kahit di ako marunong. Kasi nga, artista ako. <laughs> Takas di ba makadagdag sa team? Grabe talaga, no? Kahit nung nasa OB ako, pinag-cheering squad ako. <laughs> Kasi nga, artista ako. Wala mo akong ka-interest-interest mag-cheering squad. Anyway, nag-enjoy naman ako ng bonggam-bonggam. Parang cheerleader, but it's really not my personality. Anyway, so I am very inclined to source. Actually, kung hindi ako artista, ayoko nang mag-artista nung high school ako kasi gusto kong mag-concentrate sa volleyball. Gusto ko sanang mag-college scholarship yung ganun. Tapos talagang decidido ako maging athlete. Kaya lang, you know, life happens, medyo at the time. Kailangan ng tulong financially sa bahay, kaya hindi ako naka-pursue ng sports ko. But, yes. Actually, pangarap ko rin yun sa'yo, Taka Gido. Pangarap ko siya kasi napakadami kong natutunan nung naging athlete ako. Doon ko natutu natutunan yung disiplina ko sa sarili ko. And also, yung personality ko kasi hindi talaga ako competitive sa ibang tao. So, competitive ako sa sarili ko. Alam mo yung parang doon ko na-release lahat nung gusto kong maging better. Tapos, ano ba ako? Nagkumpita akong badminton. Kami ni Papa Gucci. Gusto ko talaga yung ano yung sports life. Gusto ko talaga siya. Actually, pinangarap ko siya yun. Chinaga kita sa swimming eh. Pero hindi mo, hindi mo chinaga eh. But I want you to be in sports at that time when you were younger because I know kung ano yung benefits nun. Marami mong matutunan yung pagiging ano mo, pagiging disiplinado mo sa sarili mo, yung pakikitungo mo sa tao because it's a team sport. Diba? Matututo ka na marami yung brotherhood, yung, kas, yung kamara, karama, camaraderie. Matututo kang matalo. Pinaka-importante yan eh. And hindi kasi laging victory eh. So matututo kang matalo. And that is the time when you will want to do more sa mga katim mo, sa sarili mo. Parang ano yan eh. Parang I eat, I eat this and breathe sports because I owe a lot to the whole thing, the whole concept of it. Ma marami akong pasasalamat na nakuha akong varsity sa badminton, sa volleyball, 
sa cheerleading, nagkumpit ako ng uh, badminton, swimming, hindi ako tumigil sa swimming, tapos sa perks sa training, parang hindi ako magubuhay ng walang sports activities sa buhay ko. So, and I also want to impart that to you and to Guido. Mm. O oh, yun. Okay, thank you for the answer. <laughs> Aba, no? Kasi sports yan eh. Next question. Where do you see your life in 5 to 10 years doing choose one? A. Being an actor. 2. Being an athlete. 3. Game boy. I game boy game boy. Ito mga lang topic if you don't feel like being an actor, gamer, gameboy, and athlete, ano yung gusto mo? Tapos, how do you see yourself in 5 to 10 years? I'm still thinking about it. At kasi parang recently occurred to me na parang the idea of being an actor, I don't really think I want to do it either, so... I'm only thinking about it, pero... I don't know, I'm also feeling like I'm pursuing the, the goal of being a streamer. So gamer? Well, yeah, pretty much. So wait, to answer your question then, I may see myself in 5 to 10 years. It depends on how successful I am I'll become. If I keep doing it and put effort into it, of course, uh, maybe I'll become a successful streamer. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends as well if I have the, the gear and all that crap. But I think if I do become successful, I get money and then I can buy like, the things I need. I'd say na parang it's more of a 50-50 or 60-40. I could be successful, but there's also a chance I could flop. Especially now because of the generation then, and of course, it's changing again. So yeah, and for me, I think it's a 50-50 chance of success and failure. But, but of course, I have positive thoughts about it, so. Fine. But mind you, ha, I just want to remind you, ang deal lang natin na hindi ka mag college ay kung, kung mag artist ka. So ngayon kung magaganyan ka, you will still have to go and do college. Okay? Mabay mm -hmm. mabay. Okay ka doon? Mm -hmm. So sana pagbutin yung pag-aaral ko kasi entrance exam. The question for you is, how did you find out na yung style mo sa clothes yun? Kasi into the... <laughs> <laughs> Interested ako sa rep. How you, how you found your style? Kasi ang ganda yung pool eh. Ako sila akong pangay kung ano, sa isip ng ibang tao. So, yeah, I wanna know. Maganda mga questions mo ah. Kapit ka dyan. Bumpit, 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 bumpit. Okay. Trial and error. I grew up kasi na depende sa music kung ano yung influence ko sa style. So, dahil Green Day, <laughs> Green Day ang aking ano, tsaka TLC. Yung talaga yung mga ano ko eh, yung mga starting point ko. Yun yung cassette ko eh, Green Day at saka TLC. Depende sa music, kung ano yung style ko at the time. So, grunge. Nang sobra. Tapos dahil medyo chubby ako, until na chubby ako, hindi naman ako makagawa ng mga R&B na mga mid-dream. Idol ko si Lisa Lopez, no? pero hindi ko kaya yung outfit sila kasi may abs silang lahat. <laughs> ako flab. So, dun ako napunta sa goth and punk and grunge. Tapos, dumating si Papa Gucci sa buhay ko. Mm -hmm. And then, nagulo yun. Kasi nga, sanay siya sa babaeng cute-cute na Japanese na style. Hindi na may magawa sa akin kasi nagtaba ko. So, nakaturo niya ngayon sa akin. Yung, kasi nung nakita ko talaga si Papa Gucci, the first time I saw Papa Gucci, naka 3 suit, tsaka naka fedora hat, sa airport, sa Pilipinas, ang init, di ba? But, nagbago nun yung aking ano, yung fascination ko sa style and fashion. Mm -hmm. But to get to where I am now, I went, kasi talagang weird ako nun. Hindi, hindi ako, I know masyado siyang mataas sabihin, but I really think I was ahead of my time. Because naalala ko yung Mary the Potter, nag pa ako ng, ano, ng sobrang avant-garde na designer na si Noni Giza. Talagang weird. And everybody really, really thought I was weird. But then again, a few years after that, ganun na yung fashion. So, and then, hindi lang ako naka-classify na stylish nun because I had a problem with my, you know, physical weight. Hindi kasi, di ba dati, talaga kung pagpayat na payat ka, dun ka lang mga style icon. Tapos hindi rin ako mahilig yung lumabas na bas. So, ayun, nalagang um, music and then culture. Dahil nung pumunta na ako sa Japan, pumunta ako na London. Tapos, iba na naman yung culture ng style and fashion. Kaya nga, ano, na-fascinate ako sa style. There's no type, parang you mix it up eh. It's not the standard na parang you have your own way of being. Eh. Ayan, bigyan ka itong tips ha. Number one, experiment. Experiment. Number two, don't give a damn. Three, pag na-feel mo, suot-suot mo na lahat, di ba? Mm -hmm. Na-feel mo na may mali, magpalit ka. <laughs> <laughs> but, lagi ko sinasabi to, 
kahit super pagduit pa ng suot mo, kaya mong dagin, magiging sarili mo siyang style. So, don't let the wear, ay, the wear, the clothes wear you. You wear the clothes. So, you dictate. That's how I am. Diba? Anong mood ko? Gusto ko parang today, gusto ko maging girl. Diba? Ba? Labas mga pang girl, mag heels tayo, et cetera. Pag, ano naman, gusto ko maging boy. Boy naman ng todo. So, ganun. Depends on your mood. Sa basta, number one, ganun yung experiment, diba? Ito yung number one talaga. Number one. Don't follow trends. It fades away. If you want to have your own style, you just go for it. Ako naman yung style ko, yung parang street, lazy, yung parang, ayaw, alam mo yung mga, yung mga athlete after na post-game, yung post-game, chill out vibes. Mm -hmm. Oh, ito, inspiration na that. Tapos, yung style ko talaga kasi before pa, sa panapanood ko, like movies, series, palagi ko kasi pa na-project myself ko doon sa series nila. Ever since I started watching anime then, mayroon akong parang sense na, uy, yung ganda na mga outfit nila. Gusto ko in-mix up with the mm -hmm. mainstream. So, yun, ginawa ko din yung ginawa, ma-experiment. Tapos, yun nga, may mga Mga merch, merch. Ayaw ko yung mga masyadong cosplay. Ayaw ko yung, for example, si Spider-Man. Ayaw ko isuot lang yung, ano, yung suit. Gusto ko yung, that's why I like Miles Morales sa uh, movie ng Into the Spider-Verse. Yes, the Spider-Man movie. Yung, yung suit niya, black and red. Tapos, dun yung clothes niya. Yung jacket, yung shorts, yung Jordans. <laughs> so, yun nga. Parang, it inspired me din to use na my own style and mix it up. Kamusta ako as a baron? Looking, you're a good parent, man. Always have been, always will be. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm at the stage of where I'm growing up now. I like, at least, parang my state of mind and like my, how I think is different now. Yeah, I'm at that stage of how teenagers are. Yung parang, may na kung moments na may inis ako sa mga decision mo or yung mga nasasabi mo. Uh, or minsan din na-affect ako dahil sa mga nasasabang. Pero despite ano, all of those things, iniisip ko na na she's just doing it for my own good. Kasi nga, you are a good parent. You are a good parent. That's just the fact. I mean, <laughs> my mom was like a very lenient parent. Though. That's why. Super nga daw eh. Super, super. Pero despite whatever anyone says, she only takes action to what everyone else says. Is when she talaga is a problem. That's what makes her such a good parent. Eh. Kasi she's not like the parent who's strict. Na parang, go to your room, you have to do this, blah, blah, blah. She just sets limits. Yun lang eh. So yeah, I, ano, I really admire that from you as a parent. Lucky talaga si Gido. I'm happy that if he does feel the same way as I do sometimes, he can just ask me. He can just give his thoughts to me, tapos I can also ano, explain how mom's just a good parent, tapos she's just doing it for her own good. My mom is the coolest mom ever, that's just the fact. She makes me do whatever I want. Plus that way, I have to follow the rules. And of course, try <laughs> drop. I'm just at that stage na parang minsan, there are moments na uh, uh, I wanna rebel. Well, not rebel, wrong word, but like parang I don't wanna listen. Despite all that, she's still lenient. And what makes her such a good parent is that she really, really, really cares about what we think. Yeah, yeah. thank you for being such a good mom. And yeah, that's what I think of you as a parent. Very good. How old were you when it was your first diet? And how was it? Ang ganda na question ko. Hindi, ang ganda nga. Okay, being in show business, a very young age, Nine ako na start Martel. Yeah. And then, syempre, nabuto na ako ng mga teenager years, di ba? <laughs> that awkward yung stage. Hello. Dati, mayroong body shaming. Ngayon pa lang nawawala yan eh. Hindi ko inabutan. Nakakagon yung mga sasikat na artista sa katawan, sa itsura, sa kung sino yung magbibida. Nakakahon yan sa may formula. So I was never parang pitched to be a bida because I was chubby. So lagi akong best friend ng bida and then lagi akong support. And it really made an impact sa buhay ko sa katawan ko. Up to now, I still feel the same. Parang napaka innate na kasi bata pa lang sinasabi ko na ang taba mo, magpapalyat ka. So I grew up na ganun. And I remember a photo shoot na endorsement. Pinagilitan ako ng manager ko kasi ang taba ko. Hindi ka ako yung gamit. You know, you feel so little kahit na you're big. Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's a quote. You feel so little even though you feel big. Um, but it's true, I felt less important. Pag diet ako ng diet, ano-ano like, mga pinitray ko mga diet pills. Tapos, yung mga pang-workout ko, yung talagang hindi ka na natutulog. Tapos, alam mo yun, masama na talaga. I was a victim of that. Victim ako Aww. ng system at the time na who only supported slender and slim frames for the industry. And up to now, I still feel the same. Parang, if I want to do a lead role or a <laughs> May bisita tayo! Hi! Hello! If I want to do a lead uh, role as a film, I still use, I have to lose weight. 
Ngayon, meron na akong pressure ulit kasi kakapangan ako lang, tapos tumaba ako, kailangan na mag-lose weight. Bakit natin ito ginawa episode na ito? I have to lose weight nga. Sinasabihan ka namin, di ba? Na tumataba ka na, kay Juan. Hindi kito sinasabing kumayat ka. Sinasabing mo mag-workout ka, maging healthy ka. I think, ano lang, not yun na lang, yun pressure ko lang. I know. Sorry. Yeah. Okay lang. I just feel like na parang dahil nga sensitive ako, I feel like na ano lang ako. I just felt like na parang it made me insecure. Pero I realized na one day, I'll find the motivation and I'll go out at my own pace. Kasi I did find the motivation at one time yung nag-work pa daw na yun. Mm. Tapos parang sa'yo, uy, bilis ko comment na one time. Mm. So sabi ko, parang okay. Pero I'm really inconsistent when it comes to ano, this kind of stuff. I noticed that na. So sabi ko, I'll find that one thing that'll make me drive to ano, to make me work talaga. Lose my weight, be healthy. Right now, I think I'm just at the stage na parang I'm lazy. Tsaka I still have nothing to motivate me and I don't have a responsibility yet. Yeah, but also, let me just remind you. Ka na kaya kong back back. <laughs> Oo. Kaya ka din ako napapressure. Dahil nga, well, the princess din. Napapressure ka sa amin. Lalo na sa princess na yan. Kay princess na yan. Napapressure ka yan definitely. Pero, tandaan mo, hindi ka namin pinapressure to be on thin. No, I, I, no, 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 no. Never. So, they might put you uh, wanting the best for me. Or, yeah. Because you, you just want me to be healthy. Pero, uh, I'm just saying, I'm not, not, like, parang now lang. This is just the stage I'm going to do. Okay, tinatanggap ko yan. Okay, yes. but I'm also your mom. I have to push you because ang tamad mo eh. One day, one day. Saan na one day soon, di ba anak? Soon na, soon na. It makes me think that uh, one day I'll be uh, ano, free of ano, parang... Me. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'll finally do something on my own.